Welcome to the spoken tutorial on working with objects in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, we will learn how to position objects using grids and guidelines, use snap functions, customize lines and arrowheads. You will also learn how to duplicate objects, resize objects exactly, distribute objects, combine, merge, subtract and intersect objects. We are using Ubuntu Linux version 10.4 as our operating system and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. What are grids? Grids aid to position objects accurately on the draw page. Let us open the file root map that was saved on the desktop. In the previous tutorials, we had briefly used grids. Now let us learn about grids in detail. From the main menu, select View and click on Grid. Then click on Display Grid. The draw page is filled with a number of horizontal and vertical dotted lines. These form the grid. These grids are for display purpose only. They will not be printed. We can customize the size of grids, that is, make them smaller or bigger as required. From the main menu, select Tools and click Options. You will see the Options dialog box. Click LibreOffice Draw and select Grid. Under Resolution, enter the following values. Horizontal 7 cm, Vertical 5 cm. Subdivision decides the number of spaces in a grid. Let us enter subdivision values. Horizontal 3, Vertical 4. Let us leave the Synchronize Axis option unchecked. Click OK. Look at the draw page now. Look at the size of each box in the grid. Let us count the spaces that we set in the subdivision. Horizontal, there are 1, 2, 3 spaces. And vertical, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. Let us learn about guides. What are guides? Guides are helper lines or extension of the edges of the objects that are displayed when it is moved. Let us enable the guidelines. Go to the main menu, select View and select the option Guides. Now click the option Display Guides. From the main menu, click Tools and Options. The option dialog box appears. From the left panel, click on the small black triangle next to LibreOffice Draw. Click View. From the right panel, select Guides when moving. This way, you can see the guides when moving objects. Click OK. Now let us move the park a little to the right. When the park is moved, the extension lines of the edges of the objects become visible. These are guidelines. What are snap lines? Snap lines help us position two or more objects within an area that is defined. Snap lines and strap points are created by the user. Snap lines run vertically and horizontally and appear as dashed lines. You must enable the snap lines option before you create snap lines. Go to the draw page. Right click for the context menu and select snap lines. Now check all the three options. Snap lines visible. Snap to snap lines. Snap lines to front. Snap lines that we create will now be visible. Let's define an area using snap lines within which the object in the map must fall. Move the mouse cursor over the vertical ruler. Press the left mouse button. You will notice that the cursor is now shaped like a two-sided arrow. Drag the mouse towards the draw page. You will see a dotted line. Do not release the mouse button. Holding the left mouse button, drag the dotted line to the page. 
Now release the mouse button. Can you see the line? This is the snap line. To create the bottom most line, simply drag the line to the bottom of the page. Let's create three more snap lines to define the area within which the map is enclosed. We have created horizontal and vertical snap lines. Now, you can position the objects along these snap lines. You can, of course, create as many snap lines as you want. The horizontal and vertical snap line functions like the X and Y axis on a graph. Within these two axes, you can position objects exactly. You can use the snap function along with the grid lines to position objects accurately. You can also snap to grid, position an object exactly on grid points. Snap to snap lines, position an object exactly on a snap line. Snap to page margin, position an object exactly on the page margin. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Explore all the grid options. Check what happens to objects when you snap to, snap to grid, snap lines and page margins. Now let's add one more lake in the exact shape of this lake next to the school campus. To do this, let's use duplicate option. Let's select the lake. Go to the main menu, select edit and click on duplicate. The duplicate dialog box appears. In number of copies, enter the value 1 and click OK. The lake is duplicated. Let's drag the lake and place it near the school. Objects can also be resized exactly to any measurement that is required. Let's use the exact measurements and change the shape of the house as shown in this slide. Let's give it the same height and width and slant its corners and rotate it. First, select Home, right-click for the context menu and select Position and Size. The Position and Size dialog box appears. Click the Position and Size tab. Under Size, enter the value 3 in both the Width and Height fields. Then click the Rotation tab. In the Angle field, enter the value 10. Finally, select the Slant Corner and Radius tab. In the slant angle field, enter 5 degrees. Click OK. We have redesigned the house. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Draw various shapes using the drawing toolbar. Check if you can apply corner radius to all shapes. Now let's paste the right edges of some objects evenly. We will use the distribution option to achieve this. We must select at least three objects to use the distribution option. First, select the residential complex, the parking lot and the commercial complex. Let's group them by dragging the select arrow to cover all the objects. Now, right click and select distribution. Under horizontal, select right, click OK. The right edges of the objects will be distributed evenly. The distribution option does not distribute the objects horizontally or vertically. The horizontal distribution option distributes the right and left edges, the horizontal centers and the spacing of the objects. The vertical option distributes the top and bottom edges, the vertical centers the spacing of the objects. Now let's create our own line style for this map. From the main menu select format and click line. The line dialog box appears. Click on the line styles tab. In line styles select the option three dashes and three dots. Leave the type field as it is. In number let's enter 10 and 5. Length as 8%. Click Add. Enter the name, 
my line style click ok again click ok let's select this arrow right click and select line the line dialog box appears click the line tab click on the style drop down box it now displays the new style that was created select it and click ok we have created a new line style let's draw a small stadium to the left of the school campus from the drawing toolbar click basic shapes and select a circle let's enter it in the top page the outline of the circle is of the style my line style let's type stadium inside it now let's learn to combine merge subtract and intersect objects what is the difference between grouping and combining objects when objects are grouped a number of objects are just put together when objects are combined new object is created we will use three objects to demonstrate these options first let us add a new page to the draw file let's draw a circle from the drawing toolbar click basic shapes and select a circle move the mouse in the draw page and drag it down let's draw a second object diamond from the drawing toolbar click basic shapes and select diamond move the cursor to the draw page drag it down and from the menu bar select area style filling drop down button and select color red 3 draw a third object a rectangle and color the object as green 6 select the three objects by holding down the shift key and clicking on each object right click for the context menu and click combine a new object is created notice that the new object takes the color of the object that is last and at the back Let us undo this action by pressing the control Z keys together. Select the figures again and right click for the context menu. Select shapes and click merge. Another new shape is created. Remember the more you experiment with these functions the more you will learn. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. In this tutorial you have learned how to use grids guides and snap lines to align objects accurately you have also learned to duplicate resize objects and distribute objects we also created new line styles and learned how to form new objects using combine merge subtract intersect watch the video available at the following link it summarizes the spoken tutorial project If you do not have a good bandwidth you can download and watch it The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshop using spoken tutorials gives certificates for those who pass an online test For more details please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org Spoken tutorial project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org/nmeict-intro This tutorial has been contributed by Desicru Solutions Private Limited Thanks for joining